Hi and welcome to Thailand News Today. In today's headlines, immigration police to revise visa extension criteria. Regulator demands return of 600 million baht for breach of must-carry rule on World Cup broadcasts. An amazing Muay Thai festival to be held in Hua Hin next year. All that and more coming right up in today's show. The Immigration Bureau will revise its criteria for visa extension to prevent foreign criminals from citing their study or foundations as an excuse to prolong their stay in the country. The Commissioner of the Immigration Bureau said it would have a working group to revise criteria for visa extension, and the revision would concern the foreigners who reported their necessity to work for foundations, receive medical treatment, or pursue their study. The criteria would be stricter, he said. The Immigration Bureau made the move after former politician Chu Witkamon Wisit said that three former immigration police officers facilitated the longer stay of members of Chinese trades who set up foundations as their fronts in the country. On the issue, the commissioner said Deputy National Police Chief, Police General Sudachet Hakpan, supervised legal action against Chinese criminals. Immigration police from 26 branches were questioned about their approval for Chinese people's visas, and the Immigration Bureau was also investigating the visa approval. Yesterday, immigration police arrested a Polish man in Gotsamui, southern Thailand, wanted on an Interpol red notice for assault and illegal possession of firearms. He had overstayed his student visa by 36 days, which was cancelled by immigration on November 3rd because he didn't attend classes. Suratani immigration police were patrolling the island in their smart control cars, which use facial recognition technology when they spotted a suspicious-looking foreigner in a Big C car park. Upon inspection of his passport, police found that 37-year-old Michael Karim Wilabinski's name was included in their list of foreigners, whose permission to stay in the kingdom had been revoked. Wilbinski entered Thailand from Malaysia via the Tak Bai Immigration Checkpoint in Naratiwat province on October 10, 2019, with a non-immigrant visa. In 2017, Wilbinski was accused of assault and illegal possession of firearms in Poland. He did not attend court, so Interpol issued a red notice for his arrest on October 15, 2017. Thinking of investing, but don't know where to start? Ever heard of AAAFX? What is AAAFX? Good question. Look no further than AAAFX, your choice for trading and investing. Low commissions and spread with fast execution. They're trustworthy and have been offering services since 2008. You can invest using various deposit methods including crypto with negative balance protection and 100% matching deposit bonus. Choose AAAFX and enter the lucrative market of trading. Visit AAAFX.com. The National Broadcasting and Telecommunications Commission, or NBTC, Thailand's broadcast and communications regulator, has demanded the return of 600 million baht granted to the Sports Authority of Thailand, or SAT, to purchase the World Cup 2022 broadcast rights for Thailand from FIFA for alleged breach of contract. According to a member of the MBTC, she said that the voted unanimously to send a letter to the SAT demanding the return of the 600 million baht within 15 days. The 600 million baht came from the MBTC's Broadcasting and Telecommunications Research and Development Fund. The remaining 1 billion baht for the broadcast rights came from corporate sponsors. She said that the SAT is obliged under the contract to comply strictly with the must-carry rule, which means that members of the public in Thailand should be able to watch all 64 matches on all free TV platforms, including Internet Protocol TV or IPTV. Otherwise, the SAT must return the 600 million baht to the MBTC. He said that the SAT was warned in writing in November to follow the must-carry rule, but the warning was not heeded, so the MBTC board had to take action and demand the refund. The Tourism Authority of Thailand, or TAT, the Royal Thai Army and WBC Muay Thai will host their first Amazing Muay Thai Festival in Prachuap Kiri Khan province to promote the Thai combat sport to tourists and foreigners. 
Army Commander-in-Chief General Narong Pan Jitgao stated that the amazing Muay Thai festival will be held at Prachuap Kiri Khan's Hua Hin district from February 4th to the 6th of 2023. The festival includes local and international competitions, training lessons from famous boxers, seminars, an exhibition on famous boxers, and the history of Muay Thai. According to General Narong Pan, one of the biggest highlights will be the Y Crew Ceremony, a traditional ritual in which students pay respect to their teachers. The ceremony on February 6 will be performed by 5,000 Muay Thai boxers, which will be the world's largest Y Crew Ceremony, setting a Guinness World Record. And now you're up to date with the headlines around Thailand. See you again next week. Have a great weekend.